Tremors are the most obvious symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Holding a glass without spilling or reading the newspaper can be challenging. Muscle stiffness and the inability to move are other symptoms. Richard Seeger was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 1991. He remembers the difficulty he had trying to walk or get out of a chair. I couldn't get up basically from a seat. I have to bounce and bounce and bounce so I turn around and finally got my legs, my knees locked. Seeger is one of 255 patients who were enrolled in a study comparing two treatments for Parkinson's. One group was given the standard medication and physical therapy. The second group underwent deep brain stimulation. During the surgery, electrodes are placed in a part of the brain that triggers the overactivity. The electrodes are connected to a pacemaker inserted in the chest. They send out a signal to calm the tremors and muscle stiffness. Seeger says the difference was noticeable right away. They turned it on, and I tell you what, they couldn't hardly believe it. I was walking around, not shaking. There have been other studies of deep brain stimulation. But Francis Weaver with the Veterans Administration Hospital in Hines, Illinois, explains why this study is different. What was unique about this study is that we included older people. Parkinson's patients are often older, but older people are often excluded from research studies. 25% of our population in our study were age 70 and older. The study found that after six months, patients who had undergone deep brain stimulation improved their muscle function by an additional four and a half hours compared to those who had standard treatment. The researchers did find a higher rate of infection and other complications in those who had the surgery. Francis Weaver says patients should do their research before considering the surgery. Each patient should weigh the benefits and risks of undergoing deep brain stimulation, but that being older and having Parkinson's does not exclude a person from being appropriate for receiving this treatment. The American Association of Neurological Surgeons reports that more than 35,000 deep brain stimulation procedures have been performed around the world. The study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association and was partially funded by Medtronic, the company that makes the stimulation device. Melinda Smith, VOA News.